levy advocates rallied today for the measure on the upcoming May ballot. Good evening, I'm Bernie Smith. And I'm Brian Richardson. The bond committee and its supporters officially kicked off their campaign this morning. KECI 9 News reporter Nan Nguyen is live in the studio with our top story here at 5. Nah. Brian and Brandy, members of Yes for 4J Schools, made their presence known this afternoon. The group made up of parents, teachers, administrators, and community members gathered together in front of Howard Elementary to show why they need, ho need voters' help to improve their school's infrastructure. The chairs are up today, and the students are gone, but the daily problems they face remain. <laughs> One of the major issues has been the heaters, honestly. It sounds like it's not a big deal, but it really is a huge problem. There are also lockers that don't lock. And outdated computers held together with duct tape. Well, environment is really essential to whatever we do. And so teaching and learning is no different. Um, and the, the less you have to deal with uh, environmental obstacles, the more free your mind is to learn. That's why the 4J school district is pushing voters to approve a $170 million levy. After the board decided to move forward, it formed a committee with the goal of getting voters on board. One way to do that, demonstrate the impact schools have, not just on kids, but the whole community. For the last six hires we've had at Palo Alto Software all just happen to be people who have kids of school age, and the schools have been a topic that's come up during recruiting. Then there's the economic impact of construction funded by the bond, but kids say there's a much simpler reason to vote yes. RMS is an amazing school. Like, there's so many amazing attributes that I couldn't even say all of them right now, and it deserves to have a building that mirrors the programs and the teachers and everything. Now, if you're interested in offering your support and help or just want to know more about what the measure will entail, you can go to KEZI.com and click on news links. Live in the studio, Nanowin, KEZI 9 News.